So what's going on everybody, it's Jedi King 98 here, and today we're going to be going over the Black Ops 3 Descent DLC trophies here for Gorod Krovi. So let's go ahead and just jump right on into these. So the first one that we have here is the Hidden Trophy, it's the Ultra Rare one here, and it's uh, this is our Easter Egg here. And we don't know the name for this one yet, and I'm sure it'll be pretty cool when we discover the name for it. So uh, the next one here is uh, Wield a Fist of Iron, and it says in Gorod Krovi, wield the Gauntlet of Siegfried, which is clearly the fist that we saw in the trailer. Um, we saw the thing at like you lunge forward. It's kind of similar to what the uh, the Brutzer guy has on him. So um, the Russian mech. Um but I think it's a little bit different. I don't think it's exactly the same thing, seeing him in action and how he uses his weapon. It's definitely a little bit different than what we saw in the trailer. So I was kind of wrong about the, them being the same weapon. However, they do kind of look similar in a way to me. So the next one here is very interesting. It's called Time Attack, and it says, Ingorod Krovi, complete Time Attack Round 20. So we're not exactly sure what this is. Time Attack Round 20, maybe that is something like Reach Round 20 in a certain amount of time. Treyarch has added a timer to the maps now, where it will show you how long you've been playing the map. So Maybe there's some sort of challenge where you could get to round 20 on the map in a certain time, or maybe this is an entirely new game mode in itself. Maybe it's some sort of speed run game mode where it's like time attack. It's try to beat the best time, try to get to a certain round at the at the fastest time. So that'll be interesting to see how that's going to play out. The next one here we have is taking flight and in Guard Krovi ride a dragon. Of course, um, to do so you have to get the uh, the command fuses and use those orbital drops. Uh, YouTubers have uploaded gameplay of them riding the dragon, so um, that'll be pretty fun to do when that. When the map comes out. So the next one here is not one inch, and it's in Gorod Krovi. Complete a lockdown event. Lockdown events take place after you pack a punch. There's a little crystal that you activate, and when you do so, it's going to put you in a lockdown mode with the MG42 in a little bunker room. It's actually similar to the house in campaign that we see uh, where you're defending against the zombies in the dream sequence in the one of the final missions of campaign. Um, so pretty cool stuff right there. The next one here is Victorious Revenge. And notice that this is uh, Vi Victory, like Victor Reznov right there. Victorious Rev, Victor Reznov. Ha <laughs> ha. Victor Reznov confirmed in Gorod Krovi, guys. <laughs> uh, so here we go. It's in Gorod Krovi. Complete all solo trials in one zombies game. There are going to be four trials in the game that you can complete, just like in Zetsubonoshima. And uh, what was the other map? Origins had the trials, yes. Uh, next one is Vaporized with uh, with it, with, the, with the word I instead of the letter I. Uh, so in Gorod Krovi, use the Gigant Beam to kill 20 zombies in one activation. I'm guessing the Gigant Beam is the uh it, it's either the left version of the uh the ray gun mark three or it is the um the giant like orbital drop that falls out of the sky i'm not entirely sure what this geigen beam is i think it's part of the ray gun mark three because i'm not sure what else this could be referring to unless it's referring to a trap of some sorts that could be a possibility right there it is a bronze trophy so uh, maybe it is a trap next one here is fire mission and it's in guard Krovi. kill eight zombies with a single dragon strike there are dragon strikes on the map that you can get they replace your uh, trip mine position in your inventory and when you throw them down they basically call in a dragon and it comes in and burns the zombies so pretty cool right there and the next one is blown away and in Gorod Krovi kill 10 zombies at once with the guard of Fafnir now I believe that the guard of Fafnir is going to be what the dragon shields official name is right there so that's probably that one right there uh, very interesting that they actually have a trophy for this because if we remember back in shadows of evil there was a trophy called strike where you were to kill 10 zombies with a single strike of your rocket shield a single boost and if you did that I believe 12 times over you got an upgrade to it so maybe we'll get an upgrade if we do this achievement multiple times over without missing so next and then the final one we have here is a zombie pult and it says in guard Krovi launch 10 zombies into the air at the same time there are multiple flinger traps around the map and we will probably have to use those to, to uh, launch away these zombies in this map so really cool stuff right here uh, some cool trophies interesting uh, insight on the map and everything so uh, let me know what you guys think about these trophies down in the uh, comments down below what do you think of time attack mode or um the uh what is it this this geigen beam what do you think that thing is the the, the time attack mode is going to be interesting if that's a complete separate game mode it'd be cool if that is i hope Treyarch is incorporates more game modes into into zombies here so uh thanks for watching this video guys if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more black ops 3 zombies content uh guard Krovi launches in three hours and i cannot wait to see you guys there where i will be live streaming it and we will be easter egg hunting so um i hope to see you guys there